Hey, hi, hello, and welcome to the show. My name is Dita Bionic, if you did not know, and I am back with another video. I know you're wondering why my voice is detached from what my mouth is saying, and that is because the audio for this video was corrupted. I am having to uh, basically dub over this with a voiceover because that's my life. So here we go. Today is Makeup and Music Wednesday, where I take a song that I've written, whether it's been released or not, and I combine that with a look for my 31 days of makeup challenge or Halloween makeup challenge and uh, give you another look. So we're doing the puzzled look today. Ooh, very nice, very sexy, very nice. Um, and we're just gonna kinda go for it, wing it, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this song. Let's get started. Okay, so always, as always, I prime my lids with the Fenty Beauty Invisible Pink eyeshadow primer just because I think it makes everything pop more. Um, and I get it in my eyelashes because I'm a fuel. And right here is where I essentially start talking about the song. You know, it's it was originally the name of the album. The album was going to be an EP. It was going to be five tracks. And it was going to be called I Promised Myself I Wouldn't Cry because I said I was writing all these songs that were, quote, crying in the club bops. They were songs that were so sad lyrically but had really dancey electronic beats, which you'll kind of hear with I Promised Myself I Wouldn't Cry. So I'm starting this off by going in with my Fenty Snap Shadow 6 with the shade that deep, which is kind of like a deep gray. It's not completely black, but it's close to black. And I'm going to take that all over my lid on this flat packing brush. I'm just going to pop that, pack that on there, get it going, get it pop the lock in. I don't know what I'm saying, y'all. It is almost midnight, and I should have done this way earlier in the day. But here we are. So yeah, the song. Um, basically, the song is about all of those moments where you feel weak and broken and shattered and you want to cry, but you always told yourself that you wouldn't. So the opening line of the song is inspired by Amy Winehouse's Tears Dry On Their Own. Um, Amy told me these tears are dry on their own. Uh, and I just really wanted to evoke this feeling of emptiness that I as a person when I was writing the song felt when I felt like I wanted to cry I felt like being vulnerable was hard for me and it's hard for a lot of people and so I wanted to write a song about that And it's at this point that I decide I'm going to do a cut crease. So you'll see me switch over to cutting the crease with this Milani. Nope, just kidding. With this um, Wet n Wild Photo Filter uh, Concealer in shade Caucasian AF because it is way lighter than my skin. <laughs> and I pack that on to the lid, leaving a little bit of the black around the edges so that you can kind of still see the shape of the eye I'm going for. And honestly, y'all, y'all are missing out on the great audio that is this video. I don't really remember what all I said. I know how to explain the song. Hell, I wrote the damn thing, but like, <laughs> it is something trying to remember what you said. And I was going to dub it, I was going to just talk over it, but I just... I don't have the patience for that, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, back to the song. So, 
this was one of the ones that was much easier for me to write. It was definitely something that uh, flew out of me because it was an emotion I was used to feeling. It was something that I wanted to write about. So I look at me checking myself out, thinking I'm doing something right. <laughs> As I record this, I'm watching the video so I can see what is what and it. This is weird, y'all. All right, so here in a second, I'm going to jump into my Stupid Love I Feel Palette, my favorite, and take the shade 911, which I have hit pan on because I use it so much. It's a crisp, clean white. I'm going to pack that all on top of that concealer and really brighten up that area because I want a black and white and red look and you'll get to see the red in just a second. So some more backstory on the song before I switch into my Retro Paradise palette and pop on that red shade spiced in that palette on the outer corner. I, so like I said, the song was initially, the song title was initially the album title. I promised myself I wouldn't cry with the parentheses and everything. It was going to be a five track EP. And then unfortunately my cousin passed of suicide and that really struck me at his funeral. I, you know, kind of realized that I had so many reasons and so many feelings and emotions and things and and reasons to live, which is why the album ended up being called Reasons. But I, you know, I had this epiphany that I didn't want to write a record full of sad songs. I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to always be sad. I didn't want to be perpetually depressed so which I am because hello depression but I wanted to really veer away from and embrace the reasons I had to live so that's why I changed the album title from I promised myself I wouldn't cry because you know what it's okay to cry it's okay to be sad it's okay to feel upset and it's even more okay to have people in your corner who care about you and love you and all that good stuff so All right, I don't know what's next, y'all. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to pop it back into my Stupid Love eyeshadow palette. And there is a shimmery white. It is gorgeous. It's got, like, pinkish reflex. And it's called Light Up. And I'm going to take that on my finger and pop that over the white parts of my eye. Look at me looking like a professional. Just kidding. <laughs> Look at me looking like a guy sitting in his room at 3 a.m. putting on makeup, <laughs> wearing a shirt with his own face on it. <laughs> Buy my merch, link down below. Thank you. Look at all that fallout. Mad fallout. I knew I was going to say it. Mad fallout. That shade has so much fallout, but it's so pretty. Totally worth it. All right, so next up, we are going to pop back into, I believe, that Fenty Snap Shadow. No, no, we're not. We're going to take an Identify Gel Liner in shade Aura, which is a white. And I really thought I wanted to do this, like, white to gray gradient eyeliner moment around the eye. So I covered my eye in white <laughs> eyeliner. Gave myself a little cat eye in the corner. I even lined my waterline with this thing. I did a lot with this white. They're so creamy. They're so good. If you don't have the identified gel liners, you need to get into them because they are the tea. Hun tea. So after I finished with the white eyeliner, I went in with this black eyeliner. Also from House Labs. It's the, the eyeliner in punk. 
it is my favorite liquid eyeliner on the market also this is the most flawless eyeliner application i've ever done in my entire life i don't know what was what i was doing that night i don't know why but i was gagged at how good i did that freaking eyeliner man it's so it looks so good in the end just trust the process y'all So back to the song one more time. I keep losing my train of thought in these things and forgetting what I've talked about and what I haven't talked about. So I remember, you know, going back to kind of the album title before I had written the song, before, you know, I even was really writing music seriously to release and put out. I was robbed at gunpoint with a friend of mine in my front yard. And I have this, like I said, aversion to vulnerability. And so we you know we got robbed i come in the house i'm able to call the police you know get my keys out call the police tell the police all the information they need to know and then as soon as i get off the phone i just break down and cry and i remember sitting there on my floor sobbing uncontrollably about the fact that people were watching me sit on my floor and sob uncontrollably and it was like this cycle that just kept going over and over and over and I just uh, it was terrible it was honestly terrible fully truly honestly horrible but that's why I wrote the song because sometimes you need to let yourself be vulnerable Okay, so I just went to check my video footage like I always do, because I had stopped it at a point, and it's staticky. Apparently my microphone was not plugged in properly. So hopefully I don't have to put this in and I figure out how to remove the static from it. Did not even, I don't know why I did, I always sound check before I start, and I don't know why I did this time. Whatever, let's continue. So I removed the white from the bottoms. I got this completely lined like the other side. Um, there we go. Um, and now it's time to do kind of like that dip thing. But honestly, I don't know that I even want to do that with this eye look. Because it's popping. You know, I knew this was going too good. I knew something was going to happen. Didn't know it was going to be with my audio, though. <laughs> I honestly really like this dark eye. And I think... On the smaller brushes I can use... I'm just going to take some black. And smoke out here. I don't know. What do y'all think? Did I do too much? I think I've done just enough. Ooh, dark and moody. Okay, so I want to refresh the red just a touch. Really want that to pop. So yeah, recording this song really... It really brought some emotions out of me that I never thought that I would be able to relay in the studio. I never thought... I will be able to accurately portray. I felt inspired. I felt honestly healed. Like I keep talking about the healing power of music. And that song, this song is a testament to that. It really brought me out of a lot of dark things and a lot of dark places. I All right, last but most certainly not least with this look, we are going to do a lip again this time. I promise I won't fail. I promise I am recording it. I'm going to take this red lip pencil and line my lips. This is from LA Girl, I think. Is this LA Girl? Yeah. Shockwave, something, something, electric red. This is actually the lip I did for my pure evil look, if you haven't seen that one. 
we can click this out of above. We go over it with this Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle in black. All right, you all, so here is the finished look. What do you think? What do you think? Are you loving it? Clearly, I'm feeling myself. Let me grab my hat. Yes, I love everything more with that. Make sure you check out my song. I promised myself I wouldn't cry in the link down below in the description. You can also find my merch if you love this beautiful shirt with my face all over it and tons of other things all on my Redbubble. You can click the link down below as well as the links to all of my social media and my website. You will find all my music and all the good stuff there. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you get a notification every time I post, which is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Next week's video is going to be dedicated to my niece, Deja. It is her 20th birthday next Tuesday. 20 years old. Holy cow. Um, and we did a song together called Reasons. So I'm going to be taking the title track, Reasons, giving you the breakdown of that. Hopefully I can get Deja involved in some way. We'll see what I can do. But taking that song and comparing it, not comparing it, combining it with the Patrick Taylor look, because it just is so perfect. It just so, uh, it's going to be so good. Uh, yeah, so make sure you hit the bell notification so you get notified when that video comes out. And thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all on the next video. Bye.